Yeah, welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast. Got a pretty interesting show for you here today. Going to talk some um, Damian Lillard, arguably the biggest name in NBA uh, in the NBA offseason right now. And um, I guess we're going to discuss the fact that he's generally held as the greatest trailblazer of all time. But I think maybe upon closer inspection, that might not be the case. Anyway, before we get to that, you know what time it is. If you haven't already and you're here on YouTube, please go ahead, click that subscribe, that like, and that notification bell so you can be in the loop whenever new content drops on the channel. If you want the audio-only version of the podcast, you know what to do. Open up your audio podcast platform, hit that search bar, type in the format podcast, give us a little search, we should come right up. If you like the content and you enjoy what you're hearing, please give us that five-star review and leave us a comment. We like those around here. Um, make sure you share the, the, the podcast with uh, other people that you know, friends, family, enemies, whoever, that uh, want to hear some sports talk and maybe hear something different than you will hear um, from more of the mainstream shows. Um, finally, you know what happens when you do those things. Helps us find more sports fans, helps more sports fans find us. Now let's get right to it. Dame Lillard. 11-year um, NBA veteran, 11-year Portland Trailblazer veteran, um, all-time leading scorer in Portland Trailblazers history, one of the best players in the history of the franchise, and maybe a lot of people think that he is the best Blazer of all time, but is he really? I think we got to delve into that. Um, no, Dame Lillard is great, four-year college guy at Weber State, obviously not highly recruited, not highly drafted, but has just uh, continued to do the work uh, the entire time in the league. He has been outstanding. He's been a soldier for the Trailblazers. Um, they haven't been obviously the best team at all, hence his uh, request for a trade, but we'll get to that. Um, but Dame Lillard has done his thing. In his career, he's averaged 25 points a game, 6.7 assists per game, uh, shooting what 37% from three and 44% from the field. Um, he is beloved in that city. He's had a couple of huge playoff moments. Um, Dame time, anyone? <laughs> Just ask Paul George, right? But um, no, Dame Lillard is, he's been an all-time great Portland Trailblazer. But here's here's the thought, right? Here's the thought. Um, we all, for the most part, suffer from a thing called recency bias. What's recency bias? Basically, recency bias tells us that what we've seen most recently is the best thing that we've ever seen, right? Um, people are so quick to say that Damian, Lill Damian Lillard is the best Portland Trailblazer of all time. And he's clearly top three. He's one of the best all time. But is it definitive? I don't think so. We got a couple of guys that came before him that were pretty darn good themselves. Uh, there's this guy, oh, I don't know, Clyde the Glide Drexler, Dream Teamer, the guy who at one point they were legitimately asking, is he as good as Michael Jordan? Is he the best player in the league? <laughs> Michael Jordan took care of that in the uh, 1992 NBA Finals. But that's not the point. The point is the mere fact that they were asking that question tells you how good Clyde Drexler was at his height. Clyde Drexler also led the Portland Trail Blazers to two NBA Finals berths. Now he couldn't get over the hump, but um, he was still amazing, right? Um, then you have another guy, Big Red himself, Bill Walton, one of the greatest college basketball players of all time. And a guy who, if not for injuries, probably would have went down as one of the best NBA players of all time. Even still, he's a top 50 guy. Bill Walton was all time great. His numbers won't blow you away because those Portland Trailblazers were on his watch. They were truly a team and the team wasn't loaded with all time great talent. But what he did really helped to carry them. And uh, he did that other thing that everyone is looking for, including Damian Lillard. Yeah, he won a championship in 1997 and he beat. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the Western Conference Finals to get to it. Then he beat Dr. J in the NBA Finals to secure it. So yeah, that guy Bill Walton was pretty darn good in, at his peak. Now again, we talk about it, injuries was something that derailed his career. He had a lot of foot problems, but um, that doesn't take away from his greatness. So these are the three people in competition for greatest trailblazer of all time. Now, I get it. It doesn't just come down to rings, right? But at the end of the day, isn't that why Dame Lillard is trying to leave? Because he wants a chance to win a championship? Bill Walton carried his team to a championship. Clyde Drexler carried his teams to two NBA Finals bursts. Now, unfortunately, in, uh, was that, 19, uh, 1990, he ran into the uh, bad boy Detroit Pistons. And, uh, well, they lost that series, I want to say, four games to two or four games to one. I would have to check. But, yeah, he ran into the bad boy Detroit Pistons, Isaiah Thomas and Joe Dumars and those guys, and uh, they lost. Um, and uh, of course, um, 
in the 1992 season, he ran into Michael Jordan, who was pretty much at the peak of his powers at that time. And Michael Jordan took care of that. He did not like the fact that uh, everyone was asking the question, um, is it possible that Clyde Drexler is just as good or maybe even better than Michael Jordan? That was the showdown and Michael Jordan, well, he said, I'll take care of that. And it's funny, he took care of that to the point that um, during uh, practices with the Dream Team, you know, he was talking smack to Clyde Drexler, like, didn't I just kick your ass in the finals? Pardon the language. Or, you know, apparently Magic Johnson told the story. There was there was a game and uh, Michael Jordan came down basically and he told Clyde Drexler what he was going to do to him did it and scored and then he screamed at him what did i tell you clyde and you know that's that's so that's so incredible to think about because clyde drexler is an all-time great player again a top 50 guy and michael jordan's talking to him like a kid because he's destroying him in practice but you know that's the kind of guy michael jordan was but anyway this is not about michael jordan the point is clyde drexler is an all-time all-time great he ended up uh later in his career getting a championship when he teamed up with his old college teammate hakeem olajuwon with the houston rockets and they won their championship in 1995 so um i guess that's a similarity with uh, uh dame lillard uh Clyde Drexler couldn't quite get over the hump. He ended up asking out. He got somewhere and he won a championship and uh, he retired. Uh, he retired satisfied and 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 he can, you know, he can sleep well at night knowing, hey, I did all my work and I got the chip, right? So anyway, um, we, we saw Dame Lillard uh, come into the league and this is a guy that averaged 19 points a game as a rookie. So it's not like, you know, he was a bum or something. And in comparison, Clyde Drexler averaged 7.7 .7 points a game as a rookie. He took a little more time to kind of get there but yeah dame lillard um he he has been a problem since he entered the league now again we can always talk about it defense and, and the offensive rules etc cetera, etc cetera. but dame lillard is just plain nice right he's just plain nice he shoots the free throw he shoots the three he you know he's decent from the field uh he's got uh what do they call him logo lillard because his range is crazy he can pull up from the logo He's pretty much got like Steph Curry type range. So, uh, yeah, Damian Lillard is, you know, it's a fair argument to say he's the greatest blazer of all time. Now you want to go back to Bill Walton. The guy was amazing. His numbers aren't going to blow your socks off. Right. But in terms of what he did and then leading those guys to a championship was phenomenal. Um, even even still. Uh, you, you look at him and you just wonder if the if the foot injuries hadn't come into play, how good would Bill Walton have been, right? Um, so now you go back, you look at the numbers. He wasn't a huge scorer, and in his time in in uh, his time in uh, Portland, Bill Walton averaged 12.8 points per game, 16 points per game, 18.6 points per game, 18.9 points per game, right? But through that time, he also 12.6 rebounds per game, 13.4 rebounds per game, 14.4 rebounds per game, 13.2 rebounds per game. He got it done. He was also a very good passer for a big man in an era where uh, big men didn't necessarily rack up a lot of assists. Um, in his final year in Portland, uh, he averaged five assists per game. Very good for a big man. Now, I know a lot of you are going to look at it and say, well, Jokic, this, he averaged uh, almost nine assists per game this year. But again, um, more shots being taken, uh, faster pace in this era, just, just a kind of different game. But the fact is Bill Walton was a tremendous player uh, for his time. And, you know, again, in the Western Conference, he had a matchup against Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And, you know, he, he was able to uh, hold his own and he was able to, his Blazers were able to beat Kareem's Lakers. And that was when Kareem was probably at his absolute peak. So, you know, um, there's something to be said for Bill Walton. And at the end of the day, Bill Walton, helped to bring and was the primary guy in the Blazers getting their only uh, NBA championship. So, you know, we, we, we got to look at that, right? And in that same season, he led the league in blocks and uh, he led the league in rebounding, right? So, you know, we got to look at this stuff and say, uh, okay, he doesn't have the total body of work in terms of longevity as Dame Lillard, but again, the injuries play a role in that. But, uh, you know, he ended up getting the main job done. So when you talk greatest Blazers of all time, he's got to be up there. Um, Clyde Drexler, his time in Portland, he averages nearly 21 points a game, 20.8. He averages uh, 2.1 steals, 5.6 assists, 6.2 rebounds. So he was passing it, he was rebounding it, he was scoring it. And again, there was a time when people were actually asking, 
is this guy as good as Michael Jordan? And again, we know what happened. But the point is, you know, two times he led his team to the uh, to the NBA Finals. Now, here is where it starts getting interesting for me. By the individual numbers, Dame Lillard, yeah, you're going to say he's the greatest Blazer of all time. But one, he didn't win a championship. But there's more to it than just the individual. But the biggest thing for me, in 11 years in Portland, Dame Lillard has been to one conference final and he's won four playoff series. That's not good enough for you to be named the greatest player in franchise history. It's just not. Because if you're that guy, you have to lead your team better than that. One conference final, one, four playoff series wins in 11 years? Come on. Now, he's going to tell you, um, well, he may not tell you because he's not that type of guy, but I'm sure the people around him would tell you he's done everything that he could and he's been immensely frustrated throughout the years. But if you're that guy... And don't get me wrong, I understand how hard it is for small players to uh, lead a team to a championship. We've only seen Isaiah Thomas and Steph Curry do that, so I get it. But if you're that guy, mm, if you're the greatest player in the history of a franchise, mm, you know, you're supposed to be able to get that done. But um, yeah, these are just some things to think about, right? So Clyde Drexler, quick wrap up, two times he went to the NBA Finals, he's a uh, multiple time All-NBA multiple time all-star of course um and then he asked out demands for the trade um bill walton uh multiple time uh all nba um uh he's uh, uh two-time all nba two-time all defense and this just with portland um two-time nba champion well one-time nba champion with portland the only championship they have so bill walton i mean his his tenure in portland was short and the numbers aren't staggering not at all but you got to look at it and say who was more integral to portland's success it, so if you're asking me at the end of the day i think clyde drexler in terms of sustained success and getting the team far even though he didn't win the championship is probably the greatest blazer of all time uh, bill walton is probably the second and dame lillard is the third so what i want to know from you is who do you think is the greatest trailblazer of all time? Do you think it's Walton? Do you think it's Drexler? Do you think it's Dane Lillard? And uh, why? Go ahead, leave your comments in the comments section. Can't wait to read them. Can't wait to hear from you. And uh, I'll be back next episode. And I'm out. Peace.